it's your girl, Dr. Nina. And it's so true that a lot of times what we do in the shower is beautiful and amazing for our skin. However, what we do after is even more important. And sometimes what we don't do can be quite detrimental to our health of our skin and our bodies overall. Now I know this because of my battles. Y'all know I've had the eczema. I've had a battle with hydrotinitis superativa, which is much less severe now. Also, I've had a over 100 pound weight loss. So my skin has changed drastically over the years. So I've seen everything right now. What I also want to mention is we don't want to end up being an ashy brick and we don't want to be a rusty penny. Okay. We want to look good, smooth, luxurious, and whatever complexion you have, we just want that glowing to its brightest and best. So today I'm bringing you some of my luxurious after shower body care routine. And some of the things that I do that are so important to the health of my overall skin and to my mind. So that's what today is all about. Just some quick methods and some things that you can do, especially with the seasons changing, that might work best for you. We all got to get that glow on and I want us all looking good out here. So make sure that you check the links down below for all the information and links on everything that I show you all today. Also, I want to hear from you. Comment. Let me know some of the things you're using, some of the things that you use outside the shower and how you learned either the easy way or the hard way to take better care of your body after you got out of the water. Now, beyond that, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also make sure you shout me out, talk to me over there. I like to comment and join my text community. I'll have the number placed above so that you can join the text community and see when I post things, share different things with you all and comment with you all. Also go to drninaellisherby.com and join my free eight day supernatural video program, which is going to get you all the way right. Not just looking good, but feeling good and getting that mental all the way together. Now let's go ahead and dive into this video. If you're enjoying the content, I would love to hear from you. So make sure you click like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's how our community grows and flourishes. And many of you all are telling me you're not getting your notifications. YouTube is tripping. So do your good sis a favor. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button. Also turn on those notifications so that you know whenever I upload. Y'all, after I've had an amazing, luxurious, and great shower or bath, I like to focus on towel blotting my skin dry. You heard me right and receipts, honey. Go back to my videos from years and years ago. I've always talked about towel blotting the skin dry. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, they talk about how you should gently blot the skin dry with a microfiber or an absorbent towel. This keeps you really nice and still moisturized instead of dry, itchy, and scabby. We don't have time for that. You are not a car. You're not rubbing yourself down or shining yourself like a shoe. You're making sure that you feel good, moisturized, and you glow. And it's not going to hurt you to have a few water droplets left behind. I promise you won't drown. Something I never fail to do right out of the bath or shower. I do not play around three minutes or less. Honey, this is a money heist. No text messages, no phone calls, no YouTube videos. Moisturize. That's where we going first because we not trying to get to that brick status, ashy brick status at that. We trying to look good, right? Your girl has been going back to the drawing board with some of them oldies but goodies. Who remembers Nivea? Click like if you remember Nivea and tell me some of your favorite Nivea products down below. One of the biggest things I love now is their creams. I have the one in the dark blue jar. Sean, my fiance, got me back on that. But then I also love the one in the white jar. It says soft. This one's a lighter one and especially in the warmer months, it works really good for me. Keeps my eczema down, keeps my skin feeling flexible and nourished and it's full of jojoba oil and vitamin E and not a whole bunch of stuff that I can't pronounce. From there, I go into my oil mixture. Now I can buy a good oil mix. However, your girl loves to make it herself. Besides that slathering on, slathering, slathering sounds like a piece of barbecue, but whatever, slathering on a little oil after I get out of the shower, I notice helps to maintain my moisture balance. It's trapping the moisture right within the skin. So just like you would with your hair and sealing in the, the water and the moisture, it's the same thing that oil does for the body. It really does seal in that moisture to the derm. Now I talked about natural body oils that I like to make because I am a DIY hygiene queen, okay? So I love getting a good sweet almond oil as well as scenting with a lavender oil. I love a little bit of lemon essential oils, but I also love coconut oil because of its antibacterial properties. And if you're wondering, I have all the amounts down below in the description box so that you're able to see how to make it yourself. 
Before I step outside and every day, at least 30 minutes before I step outside, I am putting on sunscreen as well. My faithful viewers know that I have gone on the hunt for years, just trying different sunscreens. And I found some great ones, but some of them have that white cast. And some of you all have asked me what that means. We're talking about Casper the Friendly Ghostly. Those moisturizing sunscreens that say that they're so great for the skin and some of them leave big buildup and residue. That's a no-no. So lucky for us, Native has launched brand new products. They have a new face and body mineral sunscreen and they partner with me to bring you all today's video. With SPF 30 coverage, both protect against UVA and UVB rays. It's available in coconut and pineapple and rosé. Ooh, fancy, but also unscented. It's easy to apply with no white residue, making it easy to blend with various different skin tones. It glides smoothly over any hair for flawless application, and it looks good on a makeup. They suggest using three pumps of product to properly protect your face and your neck. And for your body, they suggest using about one ounce, about the size of a shot glass. And that's when applying from head to toe, which you should be doing. And I always remember to reapply sunscreen every two hours. Besides being lightweight and non-sticky, they are dermatologist tested, reef safe, 97% mineral and plant-based ingredients inside. They have a moisturizing formula, they're non-nano zinc, and they're vegan and cruelty free. With us rolling up on that hot girl summer, it's important that we get our vitamin D the most protected way possible. And Native is making that possible. Native is so excited to be launching both of their new sunscreens that they're giving them to you for 30% off. Normally $36, you can get both products for $25 with my code BABYDOLL9. That's 30% off. Make sure you check it out and protect your skin this summer. When I'm being extra bougie and cute, I make sure that my teeth are also pampered. We only get one set after they come out when you little. Mm -hmm. I use my prescription trays more often now that I'm getting prepared for my wedding at the end of this year. Now I got the mold and the solutions from my dentist. But in between and when I'm out of that stuff, I do like the Colgate Optic White Pen for overnight whitening. And it's safe for teeth enamel. It has 3% hydrogen peroxide gel and 35 applications. It's precise and seems to be pretty good when I want some simplicity when I'm trying to keep up my maintenance because these teeth need to look good. Now I still moisturize my hair and add a little oil to it when it's in a protective style. Now y'all know I work out big time and I sweat about the head, big time. And sometimes I sweat in my head when I'm asleep. Click like if you can relate to that, but it's ridiculous. What I try to do is make sure that I hold the dryer over my head even after my shower to make sure I've gotten any extra excess water out of the hair. I spray it with the onion juices and berries and the frank juice because these are great hydrating tonics which also treat the scalp. To coat and protect my hair with a little bit of my pros oil, y'all have seen that before, but I just apply that direct to my scalp to give it some nutrients and also keep in some of that hydration and carry it down the braids. But if I'm going to do a facial treatment, a lot of times I'm gonna do it after the shower. So I'll just wait to wash my face so that the steam can really get into my pores, cleanse them out and make it more susceptible to the treatments. When I'm fancy, I wash with that Eminent Stone Crop Gel Wash. It has everything from stone crop plant, stone crop juice, shea butter extract, citric acid, and essential oils. It's also handmade. It also removes dry, dehydrated skin layers from the skin surface. And it also hydrates while cleansing so I don't feel stripped. Now y'all on my extra bougie days, I've been using it with my PMD Clean RQ device. I've been waiting forever to get my hands on one of these devices. And I'm loving this one because it has a rose quartz stone on the other side, which helps with reducing inflammation and tension to the skin. And it's great as a massager to the skin. So it's going to have that anti-aging property as well. Makes me feel super luxurious. I love to follow this process with my sand and sky purify and glow kit. Now, those of you all that watch me over on Amazon, because I do go live over there, so make sure you're following my shop. I talk a lot about this kit. The Australian Pink Clay Mask has witch hazel and kelp, which keep my pores tight and cleansed very well. 
Like I said, I love to do this one after the shower because the steam has had the chance to kind of purify and cleanse out my pores and make them more susceptible to accept treatments. And more specifically with something like this clay because it makes it glide over the skin very well and it also seems to hold the hydration instead of drying my skin out. I also love the Australian emu apple and glowberries. This has hyaluronic acid and it's also a great enzyme cleanser which acts as an exfoliator which also seems to leave my skin so smooth and buttery soft. And before that last step in the purifying glow, I like to make sure I tone with the Eminent Stone Crop Hydrating Mist. Y'all have seen me use this so many times and I love it because it helps with any dark marks or scars that I have from acne on my skin. I finish with my Dewy Glow Drops. These have fruit enzymes which helps to polish the skin nicely. And I end with the Eminent Stone Crop Whip Moisturizer. Y'all, it's super thick and rich and a little bit goes a long way. I've actually used it live over on Amazon as well. You do not want to use a whole lot of that stuff. So it does seem to be the most costly thing on my list, but it lasts forever. And it's also great for toning the skin and for all skin tones. And it's also very antioxidant rich. Now during this time, I also pay close attention to my nails and toes. Sometimes our nails and our toes need extra love. I do not want my hands to look like I punch bricks. And I don't want my feet to look like I kick rocks. So engaging in specific care is important. So a little while after showering, I try to make sure that I take care of my cuticles and my toes when my skin is at its softest. I like to first add to the moisture barrier of my hands using the Almond Moisture Scrub by C&D. Y'all, my manicurist put me on this. Absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. It smells so good. It's so thick and rich. And the scrub within it helps to ensure your skin feels soft, but it also makes sure that it keeps moisture within the hands and the feet. Aside from moisturizing, I use the QCO Natural Milk and Honey Cuticle Oil. It's a revitalizing oil. It provides moisture, it protects, and it nourishes dry, brittle, cracked cuticles, nails, and even the skin. So I love to use it right out on my hands and on my toes because I found that it keeps the skin on those areas from becoming thicker. I work out a lot, so me running and all of the things that my, my feet do, I don't want to see the results of that. So I like to moisturize and then use that oil. And if a little goes further than my cuticles, it's just fine. And now for the smell goods, y'all. Now I'm going to tell y'all, my fiance, Sean, has stepped up my game when it comes to fragrances. I had some nice fragrances and I was a Gucci girl, but honey, your girl got a lot more on her plate now. And I like to choose between different ones. So the ones that I'm rotating now are Alien, Tokyo Milk, Joe Malone, Creed, any of them, or even Flower Bomb. What I find with the Flower Bomb and the Alien, they're a little sweeter. The Tokyo Milk one that I like is a little bit more musky. I love that. The Joe Malone is too a little earthy, as well as any of the Creeds. I just find them to be nice, strong scents, and they're just wonderful on the body. But today I'm going with that Alien because your girl is feeling a lot more extraordinary, okay, and extraterrestrial. I add it to the pulse points without rubbing my limbs together and then I allow it to settle. And I love to see how that filters into my pheromones and my skin and how it goes with my natural body scent. Y'all, once I'm done, I feel so refreshed and beautiful and I think everybody deserves to feel this way. And you can get this feeling from doing this at home like once a week. You don't have to do this every day. I don't get to do this every day. <laughs> I'm doing masks like, you know, once or twice a week. I'm exfoliating at least two to three times a week, those types of things and I'm rotating. But a day like this is maybe once a week just to give back to yourself. It just feels good feels like a spa treatment and who better to love you than you okay so now i want to make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace just so you know i did it i finished the mentorship membership for you guys and it's now live check the links down below to learn more about it but it is full of courses expert information webinars master classes and everything with yours truly so i'm so excited about this this is my project my baby and i would love to share it with you so make sure you check it out and join today
check the links in the description for my free and new Dr. Nina's Mentorship Facebook group, which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress, grow, and support one another along the way. The Now That's Life podcast is about to go into season two, so I suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms. All descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day Supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.